opposing side of the political spectrum. Enough of that already. So let me ask you about what's happening right this minute, and that is that Paul Manafort is in a federal courtroom. Uh, there yep. are additional uh, charges against him involving uh, potential witness tampering. The question has been raised whether or not he should bring his toothbrush. What do you think's going on in there, and what do you think should be going on in there? Let's start with the presumption of innocence. He has never been convicted of anything. He is as innocent as you and I. And the idea of locking somebody up before a trial is so obnoxious to our Constitution that every civil libertarian should be up in arms. What they can do if they think that he is tampering with witnesses is they can subject him to home arrest. They can take away He's his already computer. under they home arrest. Fine. They can take away his telephone. They can have all kinds of restrictions. But the idea of putting somebody in jail before they've been convicted is an anathema to civil liberties. Except today, anti-Trump civil libertarians are forgetting about their civil liberties. The ACLU is not doing a thing to protect the civil liberties of Americans. We have to remember the presumption of innocent. Manafort walks into court as innocent as any of us. And the idea that he should be locked up because the government alleges he's done something without having to prove anything is really a very, very dangerous thing, whether it's done to Republicans or Democrats. And as a civil libertarian, I'm going to continue to speak up for civil liberties of people I disagree with, people I agree with. And I wish the ACLU were back in the game. But now the ACLU is running for is, is supporting candidates running for office. They're taking partisan views. They are dead in the water when it comes to protecting the civil liberties of Americans. That's why I and others like me have to be out there making the case for civil liberties on a nonpartisan basis. Alan Dershowitz, always a provocative conversation. We thank you for your time, sir. Appreciate it. Thanks. MSNBC Chief Legal